Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you take envelopes in Reaper. Now, the idea of take envelopes is that we can create automation at the take level. In other words, I have a vocal in front of us here with three different takes. We can create different envelopes for each one of these, whether it be volume, pan, mute, or even pitch. So let me show you how that's done. Let's start with this first take. And let's say right over here, this vocal is too low. I wait the moment. During the word the, so we can select the take, go to the item menu, and go down to take, and right down over here are our take envelopes, volume, pan, mute, and pitch. So for this, we're gonna choose volume. And that creates an envelope right here, this red line. So now we can adjust this in this situation by holding down shift and creating two points here and two points here and just bring it up and we can see the change in real time. So now this word is louder than before. I await the moment that... And we can tweak it right from here. But if we go to this take, it's not gonna have changed because this one's different. I await the moment that... Let's say in this take, we wanna raise up this whole phrase. Instead of going to the item menu, let's just right click it and go to the take menu here and choose take envelopes from this menu. It's the same thing. Again, we can hold on shift, create two points here and two over here and make this whole section louder. I await the moment day. So this one is different than this one. And we can do something different with the third take. The reason for this is if you're comping vocals, you might notice certain phrases that are too low or too loud, and it could affect your comping. So being able to tweak this before you make your comp is very useful. So let's try the same thing with panning. Let's go back to this one, right click it, go to take, and this time we'll choose take pan envelope. And that creates a line down here. Here's our volume and here's our pan. And again, it's separate from the other takes. But let's zoom in, let's create a panning change right here and here. We'll pull this one to the left and notice it stops right about midway. That's because this lane right here is limited to just half the height. It can't go up to here because here's the volume envelope. So it separates it. Here's our volume. Here's our pan. So let's keep this one to the left, hard left, and move this hard right. And now let's hear that. I await the moment that I know that. So we create a panning change just for this take. Because once again, it's not going to happen down here. I await the moment that I But just because we could use this on takes, doesn't mean it's not useful for items. Let's pretend we chose this as our keeper. Let's right click it, go to takes, and let's crop it to the active take. So now we just have one take, but we can still use take envelopes, but now we're using it at the item level, or at least it's behaving the same way. Because we could adjust these changes, the volume and the pan, as pre fader and pre effects envelopes. So let's say another one. Let's right click up here. And this time we'll choose a mute envelope. Now you can see it's starting to get crowded. The yellow one is mute, the green is pan, and the red is volume. Now let's go to the section over here. And there's a line right here I don't want to use. But for now, but for now, I want to take out the butt. So we could do that with the mute. Hold on shift, create a few points here and here. Pull this down until it mutes. Now that line should be gone. For now. Let's bring it in a little bit. For now, it 
it's true for now it's true so we removed the word but by using the mute envelope so again this is mute this is panning and this is volume but if it starts to get confusing we could right click over here go to take and choose right here take envelopes which opens up this dialog where we can choose what we see or even bypass. So here's the volume, pan, and mute. We're not using pitch yet. We'll get to that in a bit. But if we want to bypass the volume, we can just turn it off here. It just gets grayed out, and we're not going to hear it. In fact, you can see the change in real time. On and off. I await the moment that we can turn off the pan. I await the moment that and now it doesn't pan. And we can turn it back on right from here. I await the moment that I and we could also, to make room, make them invisible. Turn them off right here, and now we don't see them. Or we could see just one, like the volume, to make it easier to edit that envelope. Or we'll switch it to the pan or to the mute which is over here. So we can just see one of them at a time, or two of them, or all three, or none of them. But they're still gonna play back, because over here, they're still active. I await the moment that I know that you'll be safe with somebody new. For now, it's true. Now let's try the pitch envelope. Let's choose it here. And now we can see it right here in green. The other ones are still playing back. We're just not seeing them. Because again, if we choose them all, it gets a bit crowded. With the volume, the pan, the mute, and the pitch down here. So let's hide these. But keep them active. Now let's adjust the pitch one. Let's say that there's a note in here that's a little flat. For now, it's true. And we can do the same thing. We'll then shift and bring it up a little bit to be a bit sharper. For now. That's a bit too sharp. For now. For now. This one's a bit pitchy as well. For now. It's true. And we can change the pitch just like that. Or we can change it more drastically. Let's find another section over here. Wow, we'll soon be through. Maybe we could change this note by a semitone. Bring it up. And you can see right over here in yellow, the tooltips. You can see how high we're bringing it. This is just about a full semitone. Let's hear that. Wow, we'll soon be through. Before. Wow, we'll soon. Be through and after. Wow, we'll soon be through. So we could alter it for a different note just for that spot. And again, we could bring it all back by right clicking, go to take, take envelopes, and we can make them all visible right here. But again, it gets a bit crowded, so you might want to hide them right here. But even if they're not visible, they're still gonna play. I await the moment that I know that you'll be safe with somebody new. For now, it's true. Wow, we'll soon be through. And that's pretty much it. That's the take envelopes in Reaper. It's a great way of adjusting volume, pan, mute or even pitch at the take level. And what's also interesting to note is that this is the only place we could adjust pitch with an envelope. So we could do it at the take level or even at the item level as we're doing right now. So that's take envelopes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bye.